Hey guys, welcome to another noise cancellation test, this time between Crisp and Audacity. Now, Audacity is a little bit different than some of the other ones that we've done because it doesn't actively cancel out the noises, um, but it is one that through editing, you can eliminate background noise. So uh, we're gonna do this one a little bit differently, um, but to start, um, we will uh, have the neutral noise and then crisp, and then we'll do the editing in Audacity. Um, so you might already be able to hear some stuff because I am having construction go on right next to my apartment. Um, so that's what we're gonna use first. Um, so I'm gonna open my door and uh, let those noises fully in. I'm gonna show you how to edit out the noises within Audacity. Um, it's not necessarily a complicated process, but it is multi-step. So um, I'm just gonna go through it once and then um, apply it through the rest of the clip. So what you would do is you'd come up to your clip, find where you wanna start. So we're starting here. And as you can hear, that's a jackhammer noise. It would select that area, okay? So about there, I'm gonna slide this over because we need it and expand it because we also need that. Um, so you'd select it there and then you come up to effect, noise reduction, and then you click get noise profile, uh, which is misleading because that's actually what you just selected. So this is the noise profile. Then you would select the portion that you want uh, the noise reduced from. So I'm gonna select this portion here because I know there's some jackhammering in there. So we're gonna select there. Um, then you come back up to noise reduction. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I've increased it to 48, I'm leaving the sensitivity at six. And the frequency at three um, should work. Because there's different noises, it, it may not be perfect. That it's really, um, you might wanna increase it if you have a bunch of different noises. Uh, but we'll kinda of see how that works because um, I'm relatively new to Audacity as well. So. Then you click OK, and if you saw, that kind of shrunk the clip a little bit. So this is what it sounds like leading up to that point. door. Um, some jackhammering right there, um, and some trucks beeping backing up right there. Um, so that's what I've been dealing with all day. It's what I woke up to, which is always lovely. You hear the, the difference, right? Uh, it eliminates the jackhammering uh, pretty well, but it makes your voice super tinny and hollow. Um, but that is how you would edit out the noises or the background noises within Audacity. So now I'm going to go through and apply that um, to the other clips. All right, guys. So you can probably hear some of the uh, some of the noises coming through the door. Um, some jackhammering right there, um, and some trucks beeping backing up right there. Um, so that's what I've been dealing with all day. It's what I woke up to, which is always lovely. Um, so I'm going to turn crisp on now. And crisp is turned on. So uh, now that crisp is turned on, um, it's still not fun for me, but hopefully for your meeting participants now, they won't be able to hear this noise. If you live in a city, um, you know, this is this is huge because you're you're ob obviously facing a little bit more of this than if you live in the suburbs. So there we go. Jackhammer is still going on, uh, but that is noise test number one. Uh, for the next one, I wanted to do a little tapping. Um, if you're in a call and uh, you're a little bored, maybe um, you know you wouldn't be holding up a coaster and doing it but um, probably tapping on your chair or on your desk or whatever, and then your boss is like, oh, you bored? You wanna, just wanna go? What do you, you know, sorry, sorry that we're boring you. But uh, if that is you, so now I'm gonna turn Crisp on while I'm continuing to tap or try to continue to tap while I do this, there we go. And now Crisp is on and I'm going again. So now you can be actively bored and not have, uh, have anybody know it. So you can sit here and think, what are we doing? Can we have sent this through an email? What is going on right now? All right, y'all. Um, for the next one, um, 
with things starting to open back up, and who knows exactly how it's going to work, but I do know some places, you know, you're able to be outside of the cafe and, and, and things like that, so, um, you know, if you've been inside for a long time, you want to get out, so maybe you're, you know, you're at a cafe and you're, you're trying to have a meeting or, or you're on a call there, um, so I'm using some cafe sounds, which I will show you in a second here. It's a lovely little picture of a coffee. Um, but you can hear the background noise right there of what you would you know, normally encounter in a cafe. So this is without crisps, and now we're turning crisp on. And, uh, and there we go. So this is uh, what it would sound like with crisp turned on. Again, just so you can, you can see that it is indeed playing. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I, for one, would love to be able to go out to a cafe and just sit and work. Um, but it's not super easy right now. So. Hearing, uh, just putting on background noise. That's how I'm going to get my fix from now on. All right, guys, so that is it. Um, hopefully it was pretty clear which one performed better, but let us know what you think in the comments below. And uh, once again, um, please take care of yourself, take care of one another, be safe, be well, and thanks so much for watching.